taken by the Congress. So I invite you to have a look to get all those documents. The second is to make sure that we do not see, as far as we possibly can, problems of racism inside stadiums in Germany and in the surrounding areas. Now that's a more difficult problem, that's a more difficult issue. There are nations, there are supporters, there are individuals who will be coming to the World Cup who carry their discrimination, their prejudice with them. So how do we stop them behaving in a way which we think is contrary to the spirit of football, contrary to support of football inside our stadiums? And we've got a, a programme together with the LOC and, and, and with FIFA which has five or six different elements. The first focus for us is education. And I think everybody deals with racism in, in different ways. My principle, my philosophy, was to use it as inspiration, as motivation, to maximise my performance on the pitch and, and show good example and show the, uh, the minority, and they were a minority, the majority were decent footballing people, but we all know as, as human beings and decent members of, the, of society that the minority have shown how they can infiltrate and penetrate the game and have such a negative influence. We will have monitors at uh, virtually every game. We have people who are knowledgeable about the nature of racist and, and neo-Nazi symbolism who will, whose job it is to identify those symbols inside stadiums. We will have people outside stadiums who are on the lookout for any uh, occurrences of these types of problems. And we expect uh, and, and have the understanding from FIFA that where we can identify problems, action will be taken, sanctions will be taken, the disciplinary process will kick in, uh, and we will see a very strong outcome from that process. And gemeinsam in unserem Fußball das auch erleben können. Alles das der Gäste auf, die hier in Deutschland in jedem Spielort verweisen.